Mina san konnichiwa, Yuka des. Hi everyone, this is Yuka. In today's video, we will go over new grammar patterns introduced in lesson 37 of the Mina no Nihongo textbook. Without further ado, let's get started. Here are the grammar points that we will discuss today. First, verb in passive form. Second, n one wa n tu ni verb in passive form. Third, n one wa n tu ni n three o verb in passive form. Fourth, noun ga or wa verb in passive form. Fifth, noun kara or de tsukurimas. Next, n1 no n2. And lastly, kono sono ano noun. Passive verbs. Passive is the opposite of active. In an active voice, the subject performs the action denoted by the verb, whereas in a passive voice, the subject receives the action. And so a passive sentence uses a special form of verb called the passive form. Both transitive and intransitive verbs have passive forms. The following tables show the conjugation patterns for the three types of verbs. For u verbs, replace the final u of the dictionary form with a and ad reru for plain or remas for formal. Notice that when the verb ends in u, it changes to wa in the passive form. So iu to say becomes iwaremas. Tsukau becomes tsukawaremas. For ru verbs, replace ru with rareru for plain or raremas for formal. So taberu becomes taberaremas. For irregular verbs, suru becomes saremas and kuru becomes koraremas. Note there is no passive form for wakaru or iru. Now that we have learned the conjugation rules, let's move on to the next topic. N1 wa N2 ni verb in passive form. In Japanese, the basic meaning of passive is someone is directly or indirectly affected by the action of someone else. And so Japanese passive can be divided into two types, direct and indirect passives. Direct passive, like its name suggests, is a construction in which the subject is the direct recipient of the action. This form is similar in function to the English passive. That is, it shifts the focus to the subject acted upon by the verb, rather than the doer of the verb. Let's compare these two sentences. The active sentence, the teacher scolded Ken, becomes 
Ken was scolded by his teacher in passive voice. The basic structure is N1 person wa, N2 person ni, verb in passive form. Here, N1 is the subject marked by wa, and N2 is the agent or the doer of the action marked by ni. Note that since the verb acts upon the subject, a transitive verb is used. So the example, Ken was scolded by his teacher, would be, Ken wa sensei ni shikarare mashita. Ken was scolded by his teacher. More examples. Watashi wa kacho ni yobarimashita. Watashi wa kacho ni yobarimashita. I was called by the section manager. Watashi wa sasaki san ni eiga ni sasuwarimashita. Watashi wa sasaki san ni eiga ni sasuwarimashita. I was invited to the movie by Mr. Sasaki. Watashi wa imoto ni tomodachi o shokai sarimashita. Watashi wa imoto ni tomodachi o Shokai sarimashita. I was introduced to a friend by my sister. Watashi wa chichi ni kaimono o tanomarimashita. Watashi wa chichi ni kaimono o tanomarimashita. I was asked to do some shopping by my father. Watashi wa Yamada-san ni kabuki ni tsuite shitsumon saremashita. Watashi wa Yamada-san ni kabuki ni tsuite shitsumon saremashita. I was asked by Mr. Yamada about kabuki. Agent can also be other entities that move like cars animals, etc. Watashi wa inu ni kamaremashita. Watashi wa inu ni kamaremashita. I was bitten by a dog. Watashi wa mushi ni sasaremashita. Watashi wa mushi ni sasaremashita. I was stung by an insect. Next topic, N1 wa N2 ni N3 yo verb in passive form. The second type of passive is called the indirect passive. In an indirect passive sentence, the subject has no direct involvement in the action but is inconvenienced or adversely affected by it. This construction is sometimes called adversative passive and it is unique to Japanese. Let's compare these sentences. In the English language, the direct object of the active sentence becomes the subject of the passive sentence. However, this is not the case as shown in the Japanese passive example. 
the object watch is not made the subject of the sentence but takes the object position. The subject becomes the father who is not directly involved in the action of stealing but is adversely affected by it. The basic structure is N1 wa, N2 ni, N3 yo, verb in passive form. N1 is the subject indirectly affected by the action marked by wa. N2 is the agent or the doer of the action marked by ni. N3 is the object marked by o. And since the verb takes on an object, a transitive verb is used. The example, my father got his watch stolen by a thief, would be Chichi wa dorobo ni tokeyo nusumaremashita. Dorobo ga watashi no kamera o torimashita. Dorobo ga watashi no kamera o torimashita. A thief took my camera. Watashi wa dorobo ni kamera o toraremashita. Watashi wa dorobo ni kamera o toraremashita. My camera was taken by a thief. Densha de tonari no hito ga watashi no ashi o fumimashita. Densha de tonari no hito ga watashi no ashi o fumimashita. The person next to me in the train stepped on my foot. Watashi wa densha de tonari no hito ni ashi o fumaremashita. Watashi wa densha de tonari no hito ni Ashi o fumaremashita. My foot was stepped on by the person next to me in the train. Watashi wa kodomo ni fuku o yogo saremashita. Watashi wa kodomo ni fuku o yogo saremashita. My clothes were stained by my child. Indirect passive often expresses a negative feeling. Watashi wa ototo ni pasukon o kowa saremashita. Watashi wa ototo ni pasukon o kowa saremashita. My computer was broken by my brother. Watashi wa kare ni nimotsu o shirabirare mashita. Watashi wa kare ni nimotsu o shirabirare mashita. My luggage was checked by him. We use the indirect passive form only when we are displeased. When we are grateful with someone's action, the construction te moraimas should be used. Watashi wa tomodachi ni jitensha o shuri shite moraimashita. I had my bicycle repaired by my friend. Next topic, noun, ga, or wa, verb in passive form.
This sentence structure is similar in use to the direct passive we discussed earlier, except that the agent who is the doer of the action is not mentioned. Since the main focus is on the subject receiving the action, the doer of the action often goes unstated. It may be that the identity of the doer is unknown, of no particular interest, or it is understood from the context. The basic structure is where the subject is either tangible or intangible, marked by ga or wa. Example Senkyu yaku sanjuroku nen ni kokai gijido ga taterare mashita. Senkyu yaku sanjuroku nen ni kokai gijido ga taterare mashita. The Parliament building was built in nineteen thirty six. Senkyu ya kuroku juyo nen ni Tokyo de Olimpiku ga okona ware mashita. Senkyu ya kuroku juyo nen ni Tokyo de Olimpiku ga okona ware mashita. The Olympic Games were held in Tokyo in 1964. Osaka de Tenran Kai ga hirakare mas. Osaka de Tenran Kai ga hirakare mas. An exhibition will open in Osaka. Kono bijutsu kan wa raigetsu kowasare mas. Kono bijutsu kan wa raigetsu kowasaremas. This museum will be destroyed next month. Kono kuruma wa doko e yushutsu saremas ka? Kono kuruma wa doko e yushutsu saremas ka? Where are these cars exported to? Sekai juwe yushutsu saremas. Sekai juwe yushutsu saremas. They are exported all over the world. Tsugi no kaigi wa doko de hirakare ka? Tsugi no kaigi wa doko de hirakare ka? Where will the next meeting be held? Kobe de hirakare mas. Kobe de hirakare mas. It will be held in Kobe. Next topic, noun kara or de tsukurimas. Both kara and de are used to indicate the material from which something is made. In many cases, these two particles are interchangeable as both express made of, made from, or made with. Noun kara tsukurimas versus noun de tsukurimas. The particle kara is used to indicate source or origin. Materials used indicate a starting point and undergo a process to transform from its original form. Example, paper is made from wood. 
materials undergo a change and are not evident in the final product. The particle de is used to indicate materials or means. Materials used retain their original state such as wood, rock, leather, paper, and glass. Example, this house is made of wood. Materials used are still evident in the final product. Note, kara can be replaced by de. But de cannot be replaced by kara when the material is obvious in the final product, such as wood, glass, cloth, leather, etc. And so de covers a wider range of usage than kara. Wine wa budo kara tsukuraremas. Wine wa budo kara tsukuraremas. Wine is made from grapes. Pan wa komugi kara tsukuraremas. Pan wa komugi kara tsukuraremas. Bread is made from wheat. Tofu wa daizu kara tsukuraremas. Tofu wa daizu kara tsukuraremas. Tofu is made from soybeans. Nihonshu wa kome kara tsukuraremas. Nihonshu wa kome kara tsukuraremas. Sake is made from rice. Onigiri wa kome de tsukuraremas. Onigiri wa kome de tsukuraremas. Onigiri is made of rice. Kono osara wa garasu de tsukuraremas. Kono osara wa garasu de tsukuraremas. This plate is made of glass. Next topic, N1 no N2. We have learned that a noun can modify another noun by using the particle no. The relationship between these nouns varies depending on the context. It may denote possession, affiliation, location, type, kind, category, apposition, etc. Biru wa mugi kara tsukuraremas. Biru wa mugi kara tsukuraremas. Beer is made from barley. Kore ga genryo no mugi desu. Kore ga genryo no mugi desu. This is the barley used as the raw material. Note that no can string two or more nouns, but it is the last noun that is the head noun. Petto no inu ga shinimashita. Petto no inu ga shinimashita. The pet dog died. Musuko no hansu desu. Musuko no hansu desu. This is my son, Hans.
And the last topic is Kono Sono Ano Noun. These demonstratives are used to show the relative position between the speaker, listener, and the noun. Example, that person, this building, etc. Japanese words denoting locations such as ue, shita, naka, tonari, chikaku are nouns. Thus, it can be attached directly to these forms. When we want to say next to the building in Japanese, we say Tatemono no tonari Next to the building. But when we want to say next to that, we don't say sore no tonari, but rather sono tonari. More examples? Ginko wa ano tatemono no naka desu. Ginko wa ano tatemono no naka desu. The bank is inside that building. Ano naka ni hairemasu ka? Ano naka ni hairemasu ka? Can you go in there? It implies can you go inside that building? Shinbun wa ano hon no shita desu. Shinbun wa ano hon no shita desu. The newspaper is under that book. Shinbun wa ano shita desu. Shinbun wa ano shita desu. The newspaper is under that thing over there. Kono naka ni tamago ga arimasu. Kono naka ni tamago ga arimasu. There are eggs inside this. Ano shita ni nani ga arimasu ka? Ano shita ni nani ga arimasu ka? What's under that? And that concludes our lesson for today. See you in the next one.